Hello everybody, Irina is here and uh, I'm going to show you today how to make a flower arrangement from the flowers that I basically just had left from my previous arrangement and uh, I'm going to use a simple glass vase, I'm not going to use uh, any uh, tapes or foam or anything like that. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to use the greenery, but I am going to use the stems from the roses that I previously cut uh, because, um, you know, there's no reason to throw this away. See, they look alright, and uh, my thoughts are, if we just uh, save a little bit of the um, bushes or plants, I think they'll make a planet greener, don't you think? I'm the kind of person that doesn't throw anything away, so let's do it. And I will do it for my customers in my flower shop as well, because if I can save them a little bit of money, why not? So basically what I'm doing right now, I'm uh, making a base for my flowers with my greenery. And if you want to use some greenery, you know, buy extra, sure, why not? Or if your flowers don't have too much greenery, absolutely. Um, if you don't like to use greenery at all, I'll show you how to do that um, in my next lesson. But for right now, I filled up the base with uh, stems. So now let's see what I've got here. I've got um, orange lily, I've got a yellow rose, I've got a few pink roses, and three red roses. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the biggest flowers that I have. And just to coordinate the color evenly, I'm using the brightest color, which is red. And uh, I'm going to kind of uh, spread it around my vase. That's why I'm using just this flowers right now. Of the same type, of the same color. Now, I only have one stem of lily, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the middle. Just like that. Now, let's go with pink roses. And I have two of them. They're slightly different color. As you see, I'm leaving all the greenery that is on the roses, except the broken ones. And of course, I'm sure you've heard it before, you don't want to have uh, greenery in your vase just because it spoils the water. And the trick is, and that's why we put the fresh flower food into the water to make sure the flowers stay longer because um, all those uh, stems and uh, uh, leaves, they basically just spool the water. They have a bacteria growing in the water and bacteria is the one that kills the flowers. Uh, you know this expression I say, if you uh, will not be drinking from the container yourself, then the flowers should not be drinking either. So the fresh flower food helps a lot. It kills the bacteria and it also has the sugar for flowers to eat or to drink. How do you say it? As a fresh flower food, as a food for them so they'll open up nicer and stay longer. Okay, doesn't look so bad so far. And I have one yellow rose. Where do I put it? It looks like in here is the good place for it. Just kind of balance it out. As I 
do have extra greenery left. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to cover all the uh, sticks out there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm cutting this part off and I'm covering this. Not very attractive looking parts. From the front. Just like that. And let's do it a few more times. If you have any questions, go ahead and send me a message through my Facebook or post it on my wall. And uh, I will answer it as soon as I see it. And as much as I enjoy making flower arrangements, I enjoy showing you how to make flower arrangements. So, it is my pleasure. And this, I made for you. Love you.